Hello everyone, and welcome again. In this video, I explain to you how to create and configure a VPN server on Windows 10. Yes, you can create a VPN server on Windows 10, whether you are using the home or pro version of the 10 operating system, and without any additional programs. The word VPN is short for Virtual Private Network, and it is a common method used to access files and resources such as applications, internet sites, and printers using an encrypted connection from a remote location over the internet. Companies usually use VPN to extend their private network to allow employees to access resources through a public network, as if they were directly connected to the company network. Fortunately, Windows 10 comes with an incoming connection feature that enables you to set up a VPN server to connect remotely to your home network to access your computer's files, peripherals, and even other computers. And they will start the steps quickly. To configure a VPN server on Windows 10, first open the control panel. And from the control panel, click on Network and Sharing Center. Then, on the left side, click on the Change Adapter Settings option. On the Network Connections page, click the Alt key on the keyboard to display the menu names at the top of the page. Then, click on the File menu, and from there, select the New Incoming Connection option. In this step, select the users who have access to the VPN server. You can select any currently available user, or click the Add Someone button, to create a new user. I will create a new user. Enter the data to create a user who has access to the VPN server, and then click the OK button. After creating the user, click on the Next button. For your information, you can specify more than one user, and have access to the VPN server. In the How People Will Connect to the VPN Server step, select the Through the Internet option, then click the Next button. Here select the Internet Protocol version 4, TCP, and IPv4 option, and click the Properties button at the bottom. In this step, you will allow the users connected to the VPN server, to reserve an IP address on the network. So select the Specify IP Addresses option, and enter the range you want. I will allow them to use 6 IP addresses, and you can enter the range you want. It would be best if you use the higher order range of IP addresses, to help avoid network conflicts with the IP addresses, distributed by your router. And click on the OK button. Finally, click on the Allow Access button, to start creating the VPN server, and wait a few seconds for the creation to complete. After that, click on the Close button, and the VPN server, has been created on Windows 10. And the next step is how to allow VPN connections through firewall. This step is very important, as it should open the necessary Windows firewall ports automatically, so open the search icon, from the taskbar and type, allow an app through Windows firewall. Then open it from the search results, then, scroll down and find the option, routing and remote access, and select it. Also select allow this option, for private and public. Finally, click on the OK button, and after this step, the Windows 10 VPN server, can now receive remote connections from other computers. But you must configure, and set up a VPN connection on Windows 10. Now I will move to another computer, and I will set up a VPN connection on Windows 10, where you have to configure which devices can access the local network remotely. To create a VPN connection, first open Windows 10 settings. After that, click on the Network and Internet section, and then, on the left side, click on VPN. Then click on Add VPN Connection, then enter the data in this window. First, select Windows built-in, as the VPN provider, then, in the Connection Name field, enter a suitable name. In the Server Name or Address field, it is preferable to enter the IP address of the VPN server. I use a local IP just for testing, but in reality you must use the real IP address, in order to be able to access the server over the internet. Then in the VPN type field, click on the drop down menu, and select the point to point tunneling protocol option. Leave the username, and password field for later, then click the save button. Before starting to connect to the VPN server, you must make some settings from the network section. So open Control Panel, then click on Network, and Sharing Center. Then on the left side, click on Change Adapter Settings. Then right click on the VPN adapter we just created, and select Properties. 
In the General tab, you will find IP address that we entered. Click on the Security tab. First, leave the VPN type as it is on, point-to-point -point tunneling protocol. Then in Data Encryption, click on the drop-down menu, and select the option Maximum Strength Encryption Disconnect if server declines. And do not forget to select the option Allow these protocols, then, click on the Network tab. Uncheck Internet Protocol version 6, and select Internet Protocol version 4, then click the Properties button. And here click the Advanced button. Then uncheck the Use Default Gateway, on Remote Network option, then click the OK button. Then OK, then OK to close all windows. After that, open Windows 10 settings, in the Network and Internet section, click on the VPN connection, that we created and click the Connect button. Then connect and you will be asked for your username and password. Enter them, and click on the OK button, and wait until you connect directly to the server. The connection has already been made successfully, and if you open the VPN server, to verify the connection, you will find that there is already one client connected. Indeed, there is a client connected to the VPN test username, that we created and made the connection from. In this way, you can create a VPN server, on the Windows 10 operating system in simple steps, and you can rely on it. It is safe, reliable, and an excellent alternative for users who are still skeptical, about cloud services to store their data. What's more, through a virtual private network, you can access your device using the remote desktop feature in Windows 10. I hope the video is useful to you. Thank you for watching. And I also hope you subscribe to my channel. Thank you all.